What's up, everybody? We're back today and we're going to be getting ready. And this is basically the look I did before my recent video. So let's get it to it. So I'm going to start by putting on the brows. I don't even know why I came here without the brows on. But yeah, we're going to get into foundation. I mixed my Anastasia with the Huda Beauty at first, but I didn't get my mixture right. So I ended up taking this off <laughs> and I'm going to use the Huda, um, not the Huda, the NARS foundation. Went full coverage today, I used the Kevin Aquan Concealer in SX12, and I'm gonna take that on my elf sponge and just dab that under the eye. For the rest of the face, I actually highlighted with the NARS Soft Matte Concealer, my favorite, and I used the shade Amande. I've been using a darker shade for the middle of the face and a brighter shade for under the eye lately. Right here I'm taking my Juvia's Place foundation stick in the shade Congo and I'm using that to contour and I'm going to put that on the cheeks and on the jawline. And so what you'll see is I'm just going to start trading tools. So I'm going to use my contour tool, my elf sponge that I use to concealer on, and my foundation tool. I'm going to start using these interchangeably just to make sure that everything is blended with no harsh lines. So this is my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. That's what I'm gonna use to set the face. And afterward, I'm gonna take my shade Mocha for the Maybelline uh, Press Powder to set the rest of the face. And then I'm gonna get into bronzing. So on top of that other powder that I did use, I'm going to take my Fenty Pressed Foundation and I'm going to use that. And that's the shade 420. And I use that to bring everything together. It really does a good job at smoothing the face. It just gives you that filter. Okay, so for bronzing, I'm using my favorite right now. That's the Juvia's Place. I take the dark set and the deep dark set, and I'm going to use those to bronze the cheeks, the forehead, all over. Bronzer is essential. I'm not sure if I told you guys, but I take the tan set too. Or is it the medium? The one above the dark set, and I use that to clean up the contour area. Um, these are so good for the face, just everything. They just really have a good formula, so I would recommend using these all over.
So I'm gonna do a pretty sharp wing. Um, I was looking forward to this this day because I really wanted to wear a wing liner, but this is my Tarte eyeliner. It's a dual ended, so it's a pencil on one side and a felt tip on the other. And that's what I'm gonna use to create the wing today. Okay, so I threw these lashes on. I actually didn't have the number I wanted and these were a fill-in, but I really didn't like them too much. But anyway, I'm gonna take my Dominique Cosmetics uh, palette and I'm gonna use some brown shadows in there to add to the lower lash line after I use what I use for my brows. And then I'm gonna take the NYX Dr. Brown Liner and then the NYX Lip Gloss and the Madison Beer Lip Gloss and that's what I'm gonna use for my lip combo. That's pretty much all I've been doing lately with my lips. I just love this combo. It's so cute. I'm not changing. <laughs> Okay, that was a setting spray from e.l.f. And then I'm going to take my um, golden set from Anastasia Beverly Hills to highlight. I think it's dipped, brown, golden dipped or something like that. But um, sun dipped. And then I'm going to start getting into my hair. Now I had it in these two buns at first. And um, so that's how I slept. And so once I take this off, that's pretty much how I did my baby hairs the night before. And so it wasn't too bad. I'm going to take a comb and just comb those out so they don't look so stuck and just stiff. So I comb those out and then I'm going to start taking down those little buns I have and just fingering through it. I just didn't want to really do too much to it because y'all know I like curly and messy hair. I didn't have a problem with that. Oh, and to touch up, I usually take my tool that I use for my bronzer and just run it over my um, lace and run it over the baby hairs just so they blend in. Um, I don't like when they are not, you know with the makeup i don't i don't really like that but once i take these out it's pretty much going to give it like a wavy effect which was fine my hair was big it was a little messy that was okay with me um just to reinforce the middle i did take my hot comb that i had steaming while i was doing my makeup to flatten the part area and i'm going to take the um i forgot what set it is but it's one of the bronzers from juvia's place and use that powder to tighten up the part and that's going to be it y'all I'm gonna add some leave-in conditioner from Cantu just to make the curls pop a bit more and add some shine. And then I take my Erica J Wax Stick to flatten um, the flyaways and things like that. But um, once I do that and fix my part, that's it for this look. Thank y'all so much for joining me for this quick get ready with me. I had to get ready this day to film two videos, so this is what I did to get ready. And so it just came in handy to film a video for you guys right quick. So thank y'all for joining me and I will definitely see y'all soon. And yeah, full face series continues. So I will see y'all later. Bye.